coach, uh, hard fought battle against the top ranked team in the conference. Uh, just came up a little short. Can you just start us off with your opening thoughts? Um, I thought we played really well for about, you know, for a little less than three quarters. And, uh, yeah, I thought just down the stretch we hit a wall that we couldn't recover from. Um, we had a couple of opportunities, or we had a, a one specific opportunity, I remember, where we went to the free throw line two times in a row and had an opportunity to cut, uh, you know, an 11-point lead to single digits and couldn't connect and then um, – and obviously uh, has some defensive mishaps in the third, at the end of the third and fourth quarter. But yeah, overall, I really like the way we played, and um, and I think we're starting to gain some momentum now. Um, yeah, you started off really well in the first quarter, even into the second. You were hanging tight and you know trading baskets back and forth. Was the fast start something that you anticipated? Did you see something in shoot around leading up to the game that you felt you know this team has that instinct today where they're going to go out and you know give everything they have? Um, I think more than anything, I think the, you know, the last game that we had on the road and then our last game at home, it was just a good indication that we had potential to come out and, and have a good start. Um, but, you know, you never know to actually step out there. But I think that um, our last couple of games have indicated that we were, we were capable. It was just more of, you know, us being able to sustain that. Uh, Uda Shackelford has scored double digits the last couple games. It seems like her jumper has been starting to um, adapt during the season and get better. Is there something that you like from her when you see her in practice? Yeah, she's you know she's always on the scout team and she always gives us a tough time on the scout team and she makes everyone look bad. And um, and yeah, she's she's an offensive machine and. Um, that's never been a, a problem for her. So I just like the fact that she's gaining more and more confidence in, in her offensive ability in games. All right. Um, you've reached the halfway point of conference season. I have a week off, the bye week, um, before you host Albany here on February 1st. You mentioned that you've a couple of last three games have been pretty strong for you guys. What can you guys do to you know put it all together and put one you know, solid fourth quarter effort against Albany? Yeah, uh, you know we're we're gonna enjoy this bye week and <laughs> hopefully be, get a little rejuvenated and um, and get some of our our people who are are um, injured get them healthy and stuff. But um, but yeah, I think for us we're. Like I said, our last three games have been um, encouraging. You know, we just this was the top team in the conference, and we stayed with the top team in the conference for a good, you know, two and a half, almost three quarters. So hopefully that can give them some confidence and give them the understanding that hey, like if we can put a complete game together, then um, it's anything is is really possible for us this second half. And the same thing held true against UMBC. Um, like I said on the road. We, that fourth quarter kind of got the best of us, but I really like how people are gaining confidence and playing together, and um, things are starting to click. Today being the field trip day, you played in front of over 4,000 yelling students, and not only that, but a program record 4,192 people in attendance. How did the crowd and the atmosphere just uh, help push this team? Oh my goodness, we love education day. And um, regardless of it being an 11 a.m. tip, I think that once you step on that floor and you start to play and you hear all of those uh, students screaming and yelling, you have no choice but to, to play and play hard. So we appreciate every single one of the, the students that came in, all the schools that participated, and it was fun. And we look forward to just generating more excitement around this type of game and um, having them again in future years. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.